Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to my final battle of the regular season of the UCL. I, of course, am Pokeaim MD, coach of the Bronze Beartics, and today we are taking on Kristen and the Tulsa Talon Flames, otherwise known as uh, Cuddle of Death. Now, we've been having some issues with um, staying connected. Right here is where we always do see at the title screen. But uh, in any case, let's hope this does not disconnect, because then we'd probably have to do this on Showdown. But... I already see that she has Galvantula, so my lead of choice is 100% going to be the Blunder because I do have Magic Code on that thing, so I can bounce back the Sticky Web and even the Playing Field, I like to call it, as uh, I don't want to, um, I don't want her to get up his, uh, Sticky Web. Obviously, I don't have Hazard Control. Part of the reason I didn't bring my Hazard Control, one, I was never spinning versus her team. Look at Dustnor. Claydol never ever spins versus Dustnor. Um, and two... I just thought Claydol was pretty bad in this game, but uh, if I do win this game, and uh, if Nabby, Shady, or Patters loses, I make it to playoff. So, she ends up leading off with that Gavantula like I'd expect, as I am able to lead off with my um, Audino. And this is cool because it means that I will be able to go for the Magic Coat right here, hoping that she goes for the Sticky Web, and then get it up. Now, obviously, uh, Sticky Web sucks for Pokemon like... For Pokemon like um, Weavile, which outspeed her entire team and can kill everything, but it can still kill Houndoom and Dustnor and all her grounded Pokemon and Salamence with Ice Shards. So getting up the Sticky Web right here would be amazing for me. I'm not entirely sure though if she would expect Magic Coat. Um, maybe she'd expect Toxic. Actually, a to this having Toxic would have like one v one the team with Wish Toxic. But let's see if Magic Coat actually works. What she goes for. As she does go for the sticky web. So we are able to get up the sticky web on her side, ladies and gentlemen. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Um, as I am just going to go for the flamethrower right now. I could repeatedly spam. <laughs> I could repeatedly spam that move, but it would not make a difference. Maybe I could stall her out of sticky web. I don't know how many PP uh, sticky web actually has, but I'm going to go for the flamethrower right here. Um... It shouldn't make a difference at all. The good thing is if she does have default on Latias, yes, she'll get rid of the sticky web, but she'll get rid of it for her and for myself. So I am happy that that worked out perfectly. That was honestly perfect for me. Um, that's something that I debated going on with Blue and CBB about, and eventually they finally said yes, and we got off sticky webs. Turn one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Alright, so, uh, she is going to go for Bug Buzz, which is completely fine, because uh, what I am going to be able to do is, Garth of Flamethrower, it is an easy 2 KO on this Galvantula, as I was able to break her Sash. Actually, it's not that easy of a 2 KO. Um, <laughs> not much I can do right there. Uh, I'm actually just going to go for the Wish. I do expect her to go for the, uh, the Sticky Web one more time. Kind of surprised she didn't go for the... Um, the webs right there, uh, or the thunder, bug buzz. But I want to go for wish, that way I can beat this thing. Sticky web. I'm going to go for the wish. I do have regenerator on blunder, so if I switch out, I will come back at full HP, which is a great, great thing. Part of the reason, uh, I originally had beat up on my Weavile, Life Orb Weavile. Crimson Chin, are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs> She did that on purpose, but she ends up switching out into her Latias as opposed to going for the Sticky Web, which I'm completely fine with. I'm able to pass a Wish. Uh, we are going to pass this Wish to... To Big Bird, honestly. I think Big Bird can take any hit that she wants to go for. Uh, I would definitely fear maybe a Dragon Dance variant of Lottie. That might actually be an issue. Not going to lie, but... In any case, uh, my play, if I go out into my Tornadus, which is, you know, the play I ended up making... Uh, maybe she'll have Defog, I'm not entirely sure. But if she doesn't have Defog, that's great. Because I am going to be able to keep up that Sticky Web. But we'll see right now if she does actually have Defog. She goes for the sub. Whoa. Okay, this is really interesting. I, uh, it's sub. Oh man, is this, uh... Is this sub combined? Uh, we'll see if U-Turn is actually able to break the sub. Uh, sub. Is this sub combine sub reflect type? I'm not entirely sure what this actually is. But, I'm going to go for U-Turn anyway. Um, 
I don't know if we'll be able to break this up because honestly, Torn isn't the strongest, especially because I am a timid nature. However, if this does work up, this would be, if this does work out, excuse me, uh, this would be amazing. Honestly, it would be amazing if this does work out for me, if I'm able to break this up. Because then I'll probably go out to my Cobalion um, and get up my rocks. Uh, rocks do hurt that Galvantula. It also hurts Helm Doom a bit more. I don't think she has Defog because she does have Sub on this Lottie. I also have Thunder Wave to cripple this Lottie. Uh, that way my Weavile can then come in and go right for knockoff and just start wrecking her team. Honestly, but I am going to go right for the U-turn right here. I doubt it's going to break her Sub. Let me actually calc it. I mean... I already know it's not <laughs> like I already know it's not gonna break her sub but I'm just gonna calc it anyway because I'm timid with no attack investment and I'm, I'm literally a minus attack nature so Latias uh, good lord that does literally zero actually wait why does that do so much 32 th uh, 39 percent I actually could break her sub that's sick so uh, in this game, a Pokemon that might actually be a hidden savior would be <laughs> a hidden savior, but a little gem could be could be Fabio because Fabio doesn't have a good switch-ins by her team. Now I don't break her sub, so I know that she's running a defensive Latias, which means that my uh, my Cobalion should be able to come in and take any hit she wants to go for. Uh, she has to be running some sort of defense on that Latias because I was not able to knock it out uh, or break the sub rather. She goes right for Psy Shock. Um, she's literally running like It's like a max defense type of set or something Yeah, for me not to break this up. She has to be near max defense. So uh, What I am gonna do is get up my rocks first Because I want to cripple the Houndoom. I want to cripple the Galvantula put it in range of Ice Shard put Houndoom in range of the uh, Put Salamence in range of the um, Ice Shard through Intimidate potentially if it is Intimidate also, just breaking any potential focus ashes on any of her Pokemon. So, I definitely want to get my rocks first. If I do outspeed her, it is confirmed that she is running a max defense set. Which I will be able to outspeed. Yep, I do outspeed her. So, she is running a max defense set. That is good to know. As she is going to go right for this calm mind. Oh, uh, Psy Shock, what the hell? <laughs> Sub Psy Shock. Max defense. So what I want to do now is go for the Iron Head. I know we'll be able to break the sub, and um, after that I can go right for the Thunder Wave and slow down this Latia, slowing it down for my uh, Manaphy, which can easily set up and um, potentially win the game. So that's something I definitely want to do. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so it's sub come mind Psy Shock. Sub come mind Psy Shock. Is she Roost? If she's Roost, then she literally cannot touch Weavile. Otherwise, what should she be? HP Fire? HP, But then she'd show it, right? Maybe she's Dragon Pulse. I don't know. But in any case, I'm going to go right for the T-Wave on this thing. Uh, slowing it down. Hopefully, this isn't a speed tie. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, I will be able to see, uh, slow down her Latias. And if I am able to slow down her Latias and I'm forced her to switch out at one point, then Fabio can come in and just click Dragon Pulse and knock her out. So, really interesting that she's running a max defense sort of set right here. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. I have nothing else to say about that. Let me actually check my Cobalion to make sure. I should be able to break the sub. I have 96 attack investment. Iron Head. Oh, man. <laughs> Can Weavile kill? I doubt it. I severely doubt that Weavile will kill a knockoff. Bet you this thing lives. Yeah, it does 85 to 101 percent. That is insane. But I will be able to land the Thunder Wave. Obviously, it's gonna land, but that's insane. Uh, as she is gonna reveal the Dragon Pulse Icicle Crash. Let's see. There's a severely less. Um, she does not have Roost on this thing, so that's good to know because once I get any damage, I can click Knock Off after that. Uh, while I did lose my Cobalion, which is very, uh, eh, sucks, because Cobalion was one of my backup checks for Salamence, I still do have my Odino with Ice Beam, as well as Ice Shard on my Weavile, as well as, um, Fabio, and, you know, Big Bird can take a hit as well, so, we'll see how that does, um, 
I'm definitely going to go right for Iron Head, though. I need to get some type of damage on this thing, on this Lottie, hoping that she is going to attack me. I'm not sure if she actually calced how much an Iron Head does. Hopefully, she's thinking that I am offensive. Um, I mean, I am offensive, obviously, but... Yeah, I mean, she doesn't know my spread, uh, unless she calced how much her side shocks were supposed to do, but... Uh, just gonna go right for the Iron Head right here. Do as much as I possibly can to this Latias. As I unfortunately am gonna get a flinch on her. I did not want that flinch. Um, because now it actually shows that <laughs> she uh, can take any hit. So, I'm gonna go for the Iron Head again. I'm not trying to flinch her to death. Uh, but I am keeping her in range of knockoff as she is able to get up a substitute. Again, I really, really, really wasn't trying to... Uh, to flinch her to death right there however that's obviously what happened or flinch her down because now she's behind a sub and uh, that's <laughs> unfortunate for my Weavile um, as she is able to break through and knock out my uh, knock on my Kabalion however I did get up rocks and sticky web are up on the opponent's side of the field so while this is uh, this is a threat this is 110% a threat I uh, I can, okay, well, what am I doing to deal with this? Let's see. I'm gonna go to Fabio. I'm especially defensive. I have Dragon Pulse. So I'm gonna click Dragon Pulse uh, without Mega Evolving. Because I will be able to break the sub. Uh, especially after the Iron Head damage. She does have a Calm Mind up, of course, but... Again, I will be able to break the sub, and... Uh, I don't want to... I don't want Fabio to get too weak. I mean, I, I am Max Pedef, and, you know, she could get... She could get uh, paralyzed, but I don't want that to happen. I just don't want Fabio to get too weak. <laughs> this Latias is very funky indeed. And it's going to put in a little bit of work. I mean, the thing is, I can still win with just Weavile. Plus Torn. And I obviously do not want to... Uh, I obviously do not want to sack a Pokemon, though. That's one of the main issues. As she goes for Psy Shock. Wow, what a good play. Um, well, what a play, actually. I did not expect that. You know what? She's not getting up sticky webs versus me. So what I am going to do is just Mega Evolve right here and click Dragon Pulse. Um, I'll sack Fabio as well as uh, as well as my Kabalion. I can't risk her getting up a sub. I can't let her get up a sub. Maybe she goes for sub right here. That'll be fine. Um, either way, Mega Evolving going for Dragon Pulse is my strongest type of Dragon Pulse. So I'd rather just sack Kabalion as well as Fabio. That way I can go directly into Weavile and knock her out. Uh, this Dragon Pulse should do a lot more. She should not be able to sub up on this. Uh, it's definitely not going to kill. Well, who knows? It's Fabio. But I doubt it will kill. Um, it does a hell of a lot, though, as she is going to be able to knock me out with the Dragon Pulse. However, however, uh, she goes down to rocks, one, which is huge. And uh, now it is 6-4. It's 6-4 her. But it's not looking too bad for your boy. So, I want to go out into my uh, my big bird and actually just go right for U-turn. I don't want uh, Weavile to take an unnecessary turn of uh, an unnecessary turn of um, Life Orb. So I actually just go right for U-turn and try and knock this thing out. Uh, well, it will knock this thing out. This damage is gonna be at thirty-five percent after rocks. Seism Toad is the one thing that's stopping my Weavile from, like, destroying her team. That is something to know. But U-Turn will be able to pick off the uh, Latias at that range of HP as we are finally able to get rid of a Pokemon. So it's 5-4, her. And uh, I have to go into my Weavile because I, want, I need to prevent her Galvantula from setting up Sticky Web. I can't have Sticky Web against me at this point. Like, I need to do everything possible to set, um, to keep Sticky Web off the field. Though it's not the biggest pain, I suppose. If she goes Houndoom right here, I will be able to kick, 
click low kick and knock her out. Um, Salamence, the chin within. <laughs> she goes out into Dust Nor. Then again, I did have Sticky Web up, so I guess I could have went out into Manaphy. Um, she knows I have a Life Orb, though. I have no idea what this thing is going to do. I really don't. I hope it's not like Mean Look, Perish Trap. I really don't know what this thing is going to do. I feel like Big Bird is my best bet because I, I don't know if it has like Curse or anything. Um, and if she has Mean Look or something like that, I would rather be able to U-turn on out of there. Uh, I don't know if she has a Cobra Berry. I, I just don't know. So I go out to Big Bird as she is going to go for Will-O-Wisp. I don't mind it being burnt though because I don't need... I don't need this thing to uh, to be healthy per se, and we do reveal the leftovers. Weavile, custom set. So let's see what Dustnor. Dustnor, physically defensive. I'm assuming she's physically defensive. Ambish. Fifty. Oh, well, knockoff can kill, <laughs> even physically defensive after rocks. That's crazy. Wish I would have known that. But I'm gonna go for U-turn right here. I'm um, not sure if she'll switch out. Not sure if she'll stay in, just because. Just because I can tail glow up. But it's looking like I can tail glow up and win. Uh, potentially. Yeah, it really is. The Salamence is still an issue. However, as long as Blender is at full, Blender can take any hit that Salamence wants to go for. And I can hit it with an Ice Beam. Even if it is like DD Roost, uh, it doesn't beat me 1v1 uh, because I just click Ice Beam repeatedly. Uh, we do see a Shadow Sneak though. Alright, so we do see a Shadow Sneak from this thing. And uh, I'm assuming that she, that just means she's defensive. So what I am going to do is um, go out to Manaphy and I think just try and tail glow up. Honestly, on this thing, I, I need to be a bit more offensive if I want to try and win right now. And uh, Manaphy can kill every single member on her team. The only thing it does not kill is the Seismitoad. So if Seismitoad comes in, I weaken that not only for Manaphy, but also for... <laughs> I hate her nicknames, man. <laughs> not only for Manaphy... But also for um, also for Weavile. So I am going to go right for the Tail Glow right here. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going right for the Tail Glow. I'm not sure exactly what her Dusk Nor would do. I know it has paint, uh, Shadow Sneak and Will O Wisp. Dusk Nor, Sneak, Wisp at around 95. It's at 100%. <laughs> Let's just say that. But I am going to tail glow up regardless of what she wants to do. And again, like I'm, what I'm trying to do is prevent her from actually just getting um, Sticky Web up. Uh, the fact that Sticky Web are up is amazing because her Galvantula will be slower than my Manaphy. Manaphy can, at this point, outspeed her entire team. Can actually outspeed her entire team. Uh, I could see her switching out, sacking Galvantula, or even going into Silent Toad, hoping I don't have the uh, Energy Ball. Or she can just go for Will O Wisp. Or she can go for Trick or Treat and give me the Ghost Stab, and then I click Shadow Ball, and then it's actually Stab. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Go for Trick or Treat, please. I know she said she brought funky things. She even told me, you know, I'm bringing funky things this time. But she does switch out, so that's perfect. We force the switch as. Um, the big ching as Galvantula is gonna come out and uh, we already know that this thing is not choice so I am gonna be able to get off my tail glow right here and uh, I don't want to reveal the um, I don't want to reveal the the ice beam so I actually want to go for HP fire there's no reason not to a Galvantula is gonna go down anyway so great, two Pokemon down. All she has is Houndoom. Ments, Size, and Dustnor. So we are able to knock out the, uh, we are gonna be able to knock out the um, Galvantula, which is really nice for us. Um, Houndoom is also gonna be out to bed and I can click Scald. If she goes Size until she doesn't know if I have Energy Ball, I think she has to go Salamence right here, and I'm trying to think about what my best play would be. I don't think I'll stay in if she goes Ments, uh, just because, well, what did she go? She actually went right back out into Dustnor. Maybe, 
I'm not sure. Maybe she she's fearing me to be max speed and she's actually not max speed mints. Um also, she could have wanted to see my item. No, no, she already went for the shadow sneak. So she went back on dust Snow, which is cool because I will be able to go right for the shadow ball. Uh, maybe she's trying to go back outside until it gets a full, have like a focus sash and be like get the full water absorb, have like a focus sash and be like an endeavor set. I know that's a really like I'm reaching with that, but anyway, plus three shadow ball is gonna hit the dust Snow as uh, we are actually able to knock it out. Wow, dust Snow goes down. And it is now three, uh, four, me. Well, four, three, me. And uh, Simon Toad is still alive, Houndoom, but also the Salamence. Now, bitchin'. <laughs> Why is she going Mence? Maybe she's fearing, maybe she's like a bulky Mence and fearing the Ice Beam. That could be it. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm going to go for the Scald right here. I see no reason not to. If she Mega Evolves and has Sucker Punch, that's fine. It won't do too much to me. Um, my Blunder, my Audino, can indeed take a plus one. Um, a plus one. What's it called? A plus one Outrage from Salamence. It actually takes plus two Outrage, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, even after Rocks. Which is ridiculous, something like that. I think it does take something like that. But she went Houndoom, which is cool because I'll be able to get rid of this thing. Uh, the honestly, I want her to go Seismic Toad because I just want to hit it with. Uh, I really just want to hit it with a Shadow Ball. That way, Weavile can come in after and click Knock Off and Ice Shard. Icicle Shard. Yes, the Icicle Shard. Let me drink some water. Ice Shard. <laughs> to win the game. So definitely. A high point of the game for me was getting off the magic coat turn one. I'm actually not sure why she didn't click, uh, keep spamming sticky web. Just because. Sorry if you guys hear a guitar in the background, by the way. I'm not sure why she didn't just keep spamming sticky web. Um, because she. Uh, maybe she was a Destiny Ball and Scarf Houndoom set. She might have been, but sticky web obviously uh, canceled that out, and I already know that I'll spend that. She said, forgot about rocks after I sent it out. I was like, crap. Oh, so she definitely was like a Focus Sash, um, like a Focus Sash Doom set with Destiny Bond or something like that. But either way, my man, if he had an one point or enough points for uh, Timid Houndoom, which means that uh, I would have been able to outspeed it anyway. And with rocks up, I would have been able to knock it out. So all she has left is the Salamence as well as the... Uh, The Salamence as well as the uh, Sizen Toad. So I just want to go right for the Shadow Ball right here. Uh, plus three Shadow Ball. She actually clicks Outrage. Which doesn't matter. Plus three Shadow Ball should do a hell of a lot to this thing. Um, as Outrage is going to do a lot to me. However, even if she has the Yachi Berry. After the Shadow Ball. She cannot come back in. And uh, we should be okay from here. So what I'll do is I'll just sack my... I'll sack my Manaphy. Uh, to this Salamence, because all she has left is um, Seism Toad as well as Salamence. Now, Seism Toad is an issue, yes, just because it does, um, it, it, it is outsped. I, I mean, what, what am I trying to say? I can't beat it per se if it's like a power up punch variant, but I do have, I do have Grass Knot on my Tornado specifically for the Seism Toad. So, even if Seism Toad, uh, even if it's like a Rain Dance variant, one, my, uh, one, my, um, my torn will be able to live any attack from it too i'll be able to go for knockoff and knockoff to an offensive size until will do a hell of a lot from a life or weavile so even if it's like a scarf um even if it's like a scarf size until it doesn't really matter maybe it's probably rocks though just thinking about it i love how she named all her pokemon after chins but uh yeah so i i don't want to say a premature good game but it looks like it's basically over because blender can stall any type size until variant besides like um besides a potential What's it called? I might actually be able to outspeed a Seismic Toad, even if it did go for Rain Dance uh, with having Swiss Swing, just because Sticky Web is up. But uh, Blender can outstall any variant as long as it doesn't have Rest, uh, with just Wish, Ice Beam, and Flamethrower. I could get a potential burn. But I will go right for Knock Off right here, and um, it should do about 50-60% if this is a defensive Seismic Toad. And uh, if it isn't a defensive Seismic Toad, um, I'm going to do a lot more. 
And then I just have Tornadus to click Grass Knot after and potentially win the game. So, yeah, I'm just going to click Knock Off right here and uh, hopefully win. Hopefully. I hope so. <laughs> I'm going to get some water, though, because I'm, I'm a little sick. If you guys didn't know, I'm actually pretty sick right now. I'm glad we were able to connect, though, because I was... Uh, it was definitely like an issue. We, we couldn't connect. It said it's like our Pokemon were like bad, but they weren't. They said there was a problem with each other's Pokemon. There wasn't though. And uh, we connected again. And um, we were able to go and then to disconnect that team preview. But thankfully, we were able to come through right here as uh, Zeph is going to go right for knockoff, doing a hell of a lot to an Assault Vest Seismitoad. Wow. As uh, she is going to go right for Ice Punch, maybe trying to predict my uh, Tornadus at that point. I... I didn't really have a reason to switch at that point, and uh, I could just go right for the second knockoff, and that should be able to, uh, I should be able to win the game right there. So yeah, that should definitely knock it out, especially after the first knockoff damage. So that's gonna be a good game. We win versus the Tulsa Talon Flames. That means that if Nappy, Shady, or Patters loses, we make it to playoffs. So hope you guys have all enjoyed the regular season of the UCL. Uh, thank you, Kristen, for the game, guys. Go ahead and subscribe to her, and uh, yeah, guys. Until next time, later.